Good morning everybody, welcome back to Selenix Crypto and uh, welcome to a new video. An update on STMX or StormX, but we'll probably call it STMX in this video. I uh, wanted to do an update, I think for obvious reasons. I mean, STMX has been massively bullish again. Uh, last night actually, like most of this has actually happened over the course of the last, um, well, what shall we say, 12 hours. Um, was expected, I think, if you watch my last video, like uh, we also in my premium trading group, which I have, <laughs> there's Selenix Premium, uh, which you, in, in which you receive my trades as signals, uh, but you also uh, receive access to a chat room full of traders, which is very, very, very valuable. And my trading guide for if you actually want to learn how to trade for yourself. STMX was actually called there and uh, in the end we entered around this level right here. So from there um, it rallied quite hard. It rallied up to a top of about 34%. If you'd like to, to see more of those rallies early, uh, then consider joining. Links will be down in the description. Uh, but that's why, and that's also why last time around, like the main resistance level was around this level here, around 6300. So when I say 6300, I mean 0 0.0063. I hope it makes sense. Uh, but that was the main level to break. And then STMAX was able to do that yesterday afternoon, but it still took some time before actually getting towards, uh, before actually seeing the fruits of that. It took until the evening. Uh, and then it rallied. So there we are right now. Uh, STMX is at a significant resistance level, as you can see, uh, right here between 8,000 and 7,500, two major psychological levels, but especially technical levels, right? Technically, those levels are very strong and have provided resistance more often than not. And I do expect that again, right? So we'll talk about that at this point of time. So other things you need to know, in my eyes at least, is uh, are, are the following. And that is that the volume and the open interest are still somewhat bullish or are bullish again, all right? They were very high, right now they're, they're growing again. Um, that is good news. However, like it's, it, it is really growing, like it is really doing good. But the main thing to focus on right now, I would say is the technicals because, and it's going to be quite hard uh, to analyze this because STMX is just in general quite a, quite a difficult crypto to, to understand. And I have uh, lost and made a lot of money on it, to be, to, to be fair. Um, I think now in general I've made more on it, but it's, um, it's, it's still a, a hard crypto to understand. I would say what's going to happen is that STMX is going to find resistance at 8,700. Like if it breaks above this level, then it's 100% going to be a huge rally. And I wouldn't even be able to call price targets. Like my main price target would probably be between 9,000 and 9,400. So... This is possible, but I don't think it's the most likely scenario. I think it's more likely that STMX will find resistance at 8,000 and 7,500. And that from there, it will drop down towards this level here at 7,000 and 6,800. If it's able to hold that while the volume and the open interest also stay high, then I think it's possible to later on break above 8,000 and get towards those levels. But um, if it breaks down there or, or if we find resistance now, and the open interest and the volume also start dropping down. Unfortunately, and that's coming from someone, like I said, that's in a long position via the, the Selenix premium. Unfortunately, then it's more likely that sure, it will find some support at 7,000, but then afterwards it will break. And if that breaks, it's pretty certain that it's over for, for STMX. Uh, so just to summarize that all, SDMX will probably find resistance here between 8,000 and 7,500. It will drop down to the level around 7,000 and below, 67, 6,800. It will find support there, but if it finds support and the volume and the open interest are dropping down, it's more likely that it will fall back down. If the open interest and the volume stay strong and actually keep trending up, then it's more likely to get that bullish breakout. All right, so that's my full analysis. That's my full take on StormX. If you do have any questions, let me know. Uh, but for now, thank you for watching. Take care and bye.